welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna unbox my last couple of orchids for the year. And um, I've got a friend that I've met on Instagram. Her name is Natalie, and she um, has a bunch of bag babies that she finds at her local Lowe's. And she offered to get a couple for me, and I took her up on the offer. So I've got a couple of new additions here. I'm gonna open this up and show you these last new additions that I got. This is all packed so well. I'm just gonna take this newspaper off. My cat is gonna come here any second now, I think. But uh, we've got some new additions here. I'm so excited for these. So I'm gonna take them out and walk you through exactly which ones I picked. So here we are. Um, some of these have a bunch of new growths coming in and I saw one of them with a sheath. So I'm gonna take them out of the bag and show you which ones I got, but otherwise they look in really, really good shape. So these are also much bigger than I expected. A lot of these orchids, um, I know that the bag babies tend to be smaller. These look like divisions. So these are pretty big. They were about $14 each for the size. The price is amazing. So I'm very thankful to Natalie for uh, telling me about this. She, she told me about her local Lowe's, how they buy some of these Cattleya orchids and they die on the shelves. And she told me the selection that they had and I had to buy a couple of these. So this is the last, these are the last four orchids I'm gonna get. The size is incredible. The price was amazing. They were like 13 bucks each. So I'm gonna take these out and show you the plants more closely. All right, so up first we have the Cattleya Irene Finney crossed with the Cattleya Mosier. So this is a nice one. The picture of the flower is right here. So this is a really, really pretty one. Quickly looking at the bulbs, they look pretty healthy. Looks like a nice tight growth pattern, which I appreciate. We have a new growth coming in right here, which is perfect. I'm not going to repot this just because it's, still, it's getting a little cool here. I'm sure this is fine. This looks like bark and perlite, so I can manage this until it gets nice and warm out here. But otherwise, I'm looking forward to it. And look, we have a visitor saying hello. You better not bite my plants. So once again, this is the LC Irene Finney, and this is crossed with the Cattleya Mosier. This looks really good. Alrighty, the next one we have is the Epicatlia Jackie Bright High Low Stars. So this is a cross between the Lelio Catlia Gold Digger cross with the Epicatlia Randii. Or is it the, um, yeah, it's an Epicatlia Randii. Let's take a closer look. We have a sheath in here, so that's nice. You can see it there. We have a new growth coming in, which is ideal, so this can adapt to my growing conditions. And we have two other bulbs that grew. This looks pretty good. Let me show you the blooms on this one. These are really nice. So these are yellow flowers with red inside of the, the lip a little bit. This is a really pretty one. It says it's an ananthlia. An, 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 an I don't think I've ever heard that, ananthlia. Jackie Bright, so I guess Epicatlia was reclassified, but check out those blooms. Really, really nice. Looks very healthy. I'm excited for this next one. I think I'm overusing the term, but I really like these orchids. So this one is a Brasso Lelia Richard Mueller crossed with the Catlia Triumphans. And if you guys have been watching my channel for the last couple of months, you'll know that I really enjoy the uh, Richard Mueller hybrids. Let's take a closer look. We've got about five or six different bulbs and we've got a new growth coming in on the bottom, which is excellent. So we'll have some new roots pushing through. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a bifoliate. We have, um, this one sort of grew as a bifoliate in the beginning, but we'll see. But this one looks nice and healthy. So this is the Richard Mueller crossed with Cattleya triumphans. Here's one of the orchids that they have in the, um, in the picture. 
I've seen a lot of variations with these crosses. I've seen some that are slightly um, sort of spotted on the lip, very typical of the Richard Mueller. So we'll see how it comes out once it's um, good to go. Or maybe this is a stock photo, but looking, wow, she really wants to be in here. Just as long as you don't eat my orchids, you and me are going to be good, okay? <laughs> so can't wait to see this one. This next one is really nice, and it looks like she doesn't want to leave here. But this one has a lot of nice new-looking growths. We've got a lot of bulbs. I wonder if they grow this in a way so that the growth pattern is very tight, similar to how they do it with Phalaenopsis. But if it grows this way, I'm going to be very pleased. So this is the Epicatlia Golden Sunburst. And this is a fragrant orchid. Um, I hear it smells like green tea. It looks like it's blooming sized. I don't see any evidence of it blooming yet, but we've got a lot of new growths here. So this should be a really, really nice one. Let me give you a closer look at the uh, orchid here. So as you can see, all of these are very, very tight. I think Zoe over there is looking for a piece of bark to fall so she could chase it. But yeah, this looks extremely healthy. I'm wondering how long these orchids last at lows until they go under, but I'm so happy to take these in. And the price is just incredible, so I'm very thankful I was able to get these. So I'm expecting this to have large clusters of flowers from the, um, the I think it has like an epidendrum parent. Um, so it should have a lot of flowers coming through. Here it smells like green tea, so I can't wait to see that, and it's nice and yellow. Sometimes you see a lot of cat leaves that are yellow and they're not fragrant, so anything fragrant is up my alley and can't wait to grow this. So I'm so happy to add these to my collection. I'm really looking forward to growing them. These are much larger than I expected. When I see bag babies, I typically see smaller orchids, but you could see that these are divisions and larger, um, larger divisions and larger older orchids, which is great. So there, there's less time for them to bloom. So I think I'll see these in bloom within the next year, especially with one with a sheath. They look amazing. So I'm very thankful for Natalie for telling me about these and shipping them over to me. I cannot wait to grow them, and I'm sure I'm going to see blooms very, very soon. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye, everyone.